So you have the seat over here. So you can see that by default it is named uh, seat one. So if I want to rename it, I can simply right click it and then click on rename and then give it a name that I want. I'm simply going to type in name right here. You can also double click it and you can rename it just like this according to what you want. So let's let us call it uh, to the tube right here. So I'm just going to double click over here and gonna say to the tube tab. All right, that looks interesting. So if you want to add a uh, more uh, more work seat just like this so you can simply type in new seat over here so that's the new seat just like this so that's the new seat and you want to add more so you can just go over here add in more seat just like this you want to move the seats you can simply click and drag this just like this and you can see that you can move the seats right here if you want to add a new seat over here you can also insert a seat just like this and select the work seat press ok and there you go that's the new seat just like this so there's more uh, just like over here. So you can also move or copy seats right here. So you can move the, move the seats just like this. Move, copy, delete the seats and so forth. So let, let us delete the seat right here. So let's delete it. And that, that deleted the seat just like that. Uh, another thing that you can do is you can also color seats. So you can right click, go over to tab color and choose the color for the seat just like this. So you're going to have a colorful seat. Then you can actually do that from the tab color just like here. So you can go over here, go to tab color and uh, see the seats just like this. So that is how you can uh, uh, you can rename, insert, color and delete seats inside of Microsoft Excel. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.